Wines and Money in London, and I am with Keith Barron, the Chairman and CEO of Orania Resources. Keith, thank you for joining us today. Good to be here. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your project. I love the name, the Lost Cities Project in Ecuador. Give us an idea of what the, a few details about the project. Well, I could be here for a couple of hours, but we don't have that much time. Uh, it's a very, very large land package in Ecuador. It's 208,000 hectares. It's more than half a million acres. And um, I've been uh, with my crew diligently exploring it now for about a year and a half. Uh, the premise that came, uh, the reason we're in the area, for two reasons, it's 100 kilometers north of a very massive gold discovery that I made back in 2006 called Fruta del Norte. I sold that, uh, well, my company was sold on for $1.2 billion. And people say to me, well, why are you doing this again? Have you got a problem with gambling? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, no, it's just that I, I, I like doing this so much. And uh, so I'm, I'm back in my old stomping grounds, just 100 uh, kilometers to the north. But it's called the Lost Cities Project for a reason, because I worked with a professor of history for 10 years on this going through all the archives of the world, including the Vatican, and finding um, uh, references to lost gold mines. And there's two lost gold mines. We don't know precisely where they are, but we know more or less where they are, and they're on our land package. Um, and um, they were both, uh, there's two of them, Logroño de las Caballeros and Sevilla de Oro. They both produced gold for about 35 years. Um, and uh, they were abandoned in 1605, so they were conquistador mines. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to find them. Mm -hmm. But along the way, we're finding all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's basically a, a very, very highly mineralized belt. Uh, we're finding a lot of stuff that surely the uh, conquistadors could never ever imagine or had never, uh, <laughs> of course, they didn't have any technology. So right now we have uh, eight gold-silver targets. We have five porphyry copper targets. Uh, the first gold silver target we will be drilling uh, next month. So that'll be the very first drill hole that the belt has ever received. Uh, the, whole, the whole package of 208,000 hectares. We've only explored 35% of it. So considering we've got eight gold targets, five copper targets, I expect that we're gonna come up with a lot, lot more before we're done here. Well, you mentioned Fruta del Norte, which is um, just a few, about 100 kilometers south. What sort of comparisons? Can you draw any comparisons between the two yet, or is it maybe a little too early for that? Well, I, I hope it's one to one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, certainly this, uh, this first area we're gonna drill, it's called Crunchy Hill. Uh, the reason it's called Crunchy Hill is because uh, the rocks, when you step on them, they crunch under your foot. Uh, it's a high-level epithermal gold zone. It's got arsenic, antimony, mercury, all the pathfinder elements. Uh, exactly the same as Fruta del Norte had before it was drilled. And um, it's the same sort of setup. So being in the same uh, stratigraphy, the same geology, uh, I think it's no stretch of anyone's imagination that uh, potentially we can have uh, a similar sort of, of, of geological system. Now, how big it is is it going to be and how rich is it going to be? I can't tell you. That's in the, the hands of the man upstairs. But uh, we're going to find out pretty soon. So what's on the agenda for 2019? What are some upcoming catalysts? Well, um, we will be, uh, we'll, we'll drill a minimum of five holes on this one target. So we'll get maybe one or two holes done at the, uh, before the end of, of, of 2018. Uh, assays won't come back, I think, until well into January because we'll be shut down over Christmas. But um, then we're going to proceed with the other targets. And um, yeah, kind of watch the space. There's going to be a lot of news coming out. All right. Well, Keith, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks for the opportunity.